Hey, what's going on everyone? And uh, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to install and customize the Windows Terminal. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to install the Windows Terminal. Uh, there's a couple of ways we can do this. One of them is by going into the Microsoft Store. So head over to the search bar and uh, type Store, open the Microsoft Store. I believe that you have to have uh, some updates uh, installed on your, on your system, otherwise it will not let you install the Windows Terminal before you install those updates. So make sure your system is up to date, then type Windows Terminal, press enter. So this is one way we can, we can install uh, Windows Terminal, then click on Windows Terminal, and finally uh, click on Git. So that is one way you can install the Windows Terminal. The other way that you can install Windows Terminal is from the PowerShell Terminal. And uh, from here, you're going to use Chocolati, um, which is a package manager for PowerShell. So you do Choco install um, Microsoft dash Windows dash Terminal. Okay, press enter, say yes, enter, and in my case it's already been installed, so let it install. Another thing that you might want to install, uh, it is um, the color tool, uh, because it, this will help you select the color scheme that you can apply to your um, Windows Terminal. So do the same thing, Shopo, install, color tool, press enter. So once that's done, um, go ahead and launch the Windows Terminal. So I'm going to say Windows Terminal, press enter, and uh, take a look at how mine looks. That's already been customized. Um, so you get this window, and um, for the first time, Microsoft was able to add tabs to the Windows Terminal. So now you can click on this plus sign and it'll open another another tab with the default um, with the default terminal. In this case I have my default terminal, my default schema set to be PowerShell. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, another thing is that if you click on this drop down menu here, you can see all the terminals that you have available uh, that you can open. Um, I have the command terminal, which is going to open the command prompt. Um, I can also open the Ubuntu or Bash terminal. Uh, for this, you need to install Ubuntu Bash. Um, I believe I have a video that shows you how to do that. I'm going to leave the link in the description how you can install uh, Ubuntu Bash. So you can have it as an option um, in just Windows in your Windows terminal. And uh, also have Azure Cloud Shell. Um, as you can see here, I was able to customize PowerShell and I added a background, which I'm going to show you how you can do that. So if you want to customize your Windows Terminal, click on the drop-down menu and click on Settings. And this is going to open a setting.json file. Uh, in your case, probably, if you, don't have, uh, if you haven't done any customization, it's going to be a... Uh, a small file. So I'm going to open, I already have it open here in Sublime, but if you don't have, if you have Notepad, it should be the same. And so uh, the, there, there are a couple of things here that I want to show you when it when it's about customizing the Windows Terminal. Most of the, um, the files uh, uh, that you need in order to customize your Windows Terminal are inside this uh, path, which is in your um, is in your app data local packages Microsoft Windows Terminal. Actually, if you go to local state, there is a settings.json file, which is the one that I have open here. So in this section, we have the the uh, profiles, uh, which is a um, a JSON object. Inside this JSON object, I have another object, which is called defaults. Here you will uh, enter 
the defaults that you want applied for all your profiles. And then I have a list here that includes my four uh, my four uh, terminals. This is what I get to customize the look of each individual terminal. Uh, the first one is for PowerShell. And notice that uh, the name says PowerShell. This is the name that is going to show up on the drop-down menu. Uh, next, uh, this will be the command line. In this case, I'm going to invoke PowerShell.exe. Um, here I have a background image applied to my uh, to the background of this uh, terminal. Uh, this will uh, set the opacity on the fill. And finally, the color scheme. Uh, the color scheme you can set the or you can uh, define the color scheme here uh, in this section, which is scheme is a list, which is a list that contains the. Um, the settings of the properties for every single call scheme. Notice that this call scheme has the name of Camel, and um, this is what I've included here for my command.exe. And at the bottom, uh, you have another list which is key bindings. Here you can define or create the um, the shortcut keys mm, along with the the command uh, in order to uh, navigate. Um, with your keyboard and so that's pretty much it. The other thing that I wanted to show you is where to store the uh, the background image. Now the background image is also stored in the same uh, in the same location. I believe it's inside roaming state. Yes, inside roaming state. Um, here I have four different uh, background images but um, PowerShell <clears throat> is the only one that I'm using. And that's it. That's as far as I wanted to cover for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.